friends my name is zatrika and our today's story is the cunning little tailor and this is by the brothers grim before we start i give some description brothers grim tale about how a clever tailor solved a riddle makes a beer nuts pull some strings to teach it violin and wins his bride so oh, let's start There was once on a time a princess who was extremely proud if a wooer came she gave him some riddle to guess and if he could not find it out he was sent continuously away she let it made known also that whoever sought her riddle should marry her let him who he might at length therefore three tailors fell in each other the two eldest who thought that they had done so many dexterous bits of work successfully that they could not fail to success this also the third was a little useless land lauper who did not know even his trade but he thought he must have some luck in his venture for where else was it came from then the two others said to him to stay at home you cannot do much with a little bit of understanding the little tailor however did not let himself be discouraged and said he had set his head to work about for his once and he had managed well enough and he went forth as if he the whole world were his they all three announced themselves to the princess and said she was a, she was to propound her little to them and that the right person were now came who had understanding so find that they could be threaded in a needle then said the princess i took can't hair on my head of which color is if that all be said the first it must be black when white like the cord which is called pepper and salt wrongly guessed the the second answer then the second answer if it not black and white then is brown and red like in a father's company coat wrongly guessed said the princess let the third give answer for i see very well he knows it for some ten then the tailor stepped boldly forth and said the princess has silver and golden color on her head and those are two different colors when the princess heard that she turned pale and nearly fell down with terror for the little tailor has cursed her riddle and she had firmly believed that no man in earth could discover it when her courage returned she said you has not won me by that there is still something else that you must do below in the stable there is a beer and which you shall pass at night and when i get morning if you are still alive you shall marry me she accepted however she could not thus get rid of the tailor for the beer had never left any one alive who had fallen in his clutches the little tailor did not himself be frightened away and was quite delighted and said barley ventured is half won when therefore the evening came our little tailor was taken down to the beer the beer was about to set at the little fellow at once and gave him a hearty welcome with his paws softly softly said the tailor i'll assume you make you quite then quite compensedly and as if he had no anxiety in the world he took some nut out of his pocket cracked them and ate the kernels 
When the bear saw that, he was seized to desire to have some nuts too. The, key, the tailor fell in his pockets and reached him a handful. They were, however, not nuts, but pebbles. The bear put them in his mouth and could not get anything out of them. Let him buy it as he would. Ah, he thought. What a stupid blockhead I am. I even not crack a nut. And then he said to the tailor, Here, crack me the nuts. There, what see you stupid fellow you are, said the little tailor. You have such a great mouth and you are not able to crack a small nut. Then he took the pebble and nimbly put a nut in his mouth and placed it and cracked it was in two. I must try the thing again, said the bear. When I watch you, I then think I would be able to do it too. So the tailor boss more gave him a pebble. And the bear tried and tried and tried to bite it into all the strength of his body. But no one will imagine that he accomplished it. When that was over, the tailor took out a violin from beneath his coat and placed a piece to himself. There was the bear heard the music. He could not help, him, help himself to beginning to dance. And when he had danced a while, the thing pleased him so well that he said to the tailor, Is the fiddle heavy? Lie down for the child. Look! I, with my left hand, I lay my fingers on it, and with my right, I stroke it to the bow, and then goes merely. Hope sa la la really. So said the bear. Fiddling is the thing I should be understanding too. That I might dance whenever I had a fancy. What does you think of it? That will you give me lessons? With all my heart, said the tailor, if you have a talent for it. But let me see your claws. They are terribly long and must cut the nails a little. Then the voice was broad and the bear put his claws in it. And the tailor screwed it tight and said, wait until I came with the scissors. And he let the bear growl as he liked and lay down in the corner of the bundle of straw and fell asleep. When the princess heard the bear growling so fiercely during the night, she believed nothing else but that he was growling for joy. He made the end of the tailor and the morning she arose careless and happy. But when she peeped into the stable, the tailor girl stood gaily before her and was healthy as a fish in water. Now she could not say another word against the wedding because he had, she had given a promise before everyone. And the king ordered the, a carriage to be brought in the which she was to drive to the church with the tailor and there she was to be married. When they got into the carriage, the two other tailors who had failed her and envied him his good fortune went to the stable and unscrewed the beer again. The beer, in great furry, ran after the carriage. The princess heard him snorting and rolling. She was terrified and she cried. Ah, the beer is behind us and wants to get you. The tailor was quick and stood on his head, stuck his legs out of the window and cried. Does you see the voice? If you do not be off, you shall be put it into again. When the beer saw that, he turned round and ran away. The trailer drove quietly to the church and the princess was married him to once. And they lived with her happy as as a woodlark. However, do not believe this. Must pay the teller. Thank you.